RLF Tech Solutions Tutorial, Advanced Queries and Reports, Building the Date Range Report for Accounts Receivables of a Small Business Part 2. We will go over report setup and formatting in this part of the tutorial. As we pick up from where we left off on Part 1 of this tutorial, we have created a query that is controlled by a criteria formula and the data for the criteria is entered from two text boxes on the dashboard of the database. The next step is to create the report that will provide a view of the data produced by the query when showing the criteria formula. The report selection is controlled by placing the criteria in the calculated field that is tied to the dashboard text fields. In the formula you will see text 42. The text fields are the boxes where we enter the date ranges and are placed into the criteria field as shown on the criteria line under the calculated field. We will create a report on the query that is controlled by the variable fields in the criteria formula. When the report is finished and generated it will show the query results with the criteria filter as created in the formula. We will create a report and add text boxes that can later be tied to the relevant fields of the query. Further formatting will allow for final touches to the report. Notice that due to screen size, some of the reports generate out of our screen view for the video. These reports can later be adjusted for the size that you desire as part of the formatting. As part of this video, we are only creating the most basic level of reports. For more details on formatting of reports in Access, please check our other tutorials.